we are asked to find an equation in rectangular coordinates for the spherical equation phi equals pi divided by six radians. Remember phi is the angle formed by the points on the surface and the positive z-axis, this angle here. So if this angle is pi over six radians and we rotate this about the positive z-axis, we should recognize the graph is going to be a cone opening upward. However, our goal here is to write the equation using rectangular coordinates. So beginning with phi, equals pi divided by six radians. If we look at the equations that relate rectangular and spherical equations, here we have phi equals arc cosine of z divided by the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared plus c squared. Let's perform this substitution for phi, which gives us arc cosine of z divided by the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals pi divided by six radians. For the next step, let's undo arc cosine by taking the cosine of both sides of the equation. This gives us cosine of arc cosine of z divided by the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals cosine pi over six radians. On the left side, the cosine and arc cosine undo each other. The left side simplifies to z divided by the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals, on the right side, cosine pi over six radians equals cosine 30 degrees, which equals square root three divided by two. For the next step, let's undo the square roots by squaring both sides of the equation. To square a fraction, we square the numerator and denominator. On the left side, the square of z is z squared. In the denominator, when we square the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared plus c squared, it simplifies perfectly to the radicand of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. On the right side of the equation, the square of the square root of three simplifies perfectly to three, and the square of two is four. The next step is to clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, or if it's simpler, we can just cross multiply. Cross multiplying, we have three times the quantity x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals z squared times four, which equals four z squared. Let's continue on the next slide. To simplify the left side of the equation, we distribute three, which gives us three x squared plus three y squared plus three z squared equals four z squared. To finish, let's solve the equation for z squared by subtracting three z squared on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we have the rectangular equation, three x squared plus three y squared equals z squared, which we should recognize would be the graph of a cone. However, if we go back to the spherical equation one last time, which is phi equals pi divided by six, which we said earlier would be a cone opening upward, which is not going to be below the xy plane, so we should make the restriction on the rectangular equation that z is greater than or equal to zero, which if we graph is this cone here, and if we graph this using three-dimensional software, here's the graph of the same cone. I hope you found this helpful.